What's up, crypto fam? Welcome back to the Crypto Breakdown Cadena Whiteboard Mini Series. In today's video, we're going to talk about Cadena price predictions and why the price of Cadena is $1.50 and not $5,000 like it's going to be by 2035. Not investing advice. Now, before we dive into the nitty gritty, I want to ask you a question. How long have you been investing in cryptocurrency? How many of you said one to two years? Better yet, if we looked at your crypto wallet and we take a look at every asset that you've invested in, how many people can tell me what coding language every project is built with? I would assume less than 1% of people watching this could answer that question. Don't worry though, I used to be that guy. I mean, it's pretty crazy to think about the fact that all blockchain technology is, is just software, period. It's really that simple. So if all blockchain is, is software, and you can't tell me what code is used to build that software, how could you ever tell if one product is better than the next? You would just be guessing, right? This is why most people don't understand that even though Cadena has the most advanced smart contract coding language in the history of the world, why the price of Cadena is $1.50 and not $5,000. So in the first part of this video, I'm going to explain why I laugh every time I hear someone say that Cadena needs to market when there is zero point in marketing right now. Then in the second half of this video, we're going to talk about Cadena price predictions. So let's kick things off and start with the roadmap goals Cadena needs to accomplish before they can make any big marketing pushes. Roadmap goal number one, pack digital courses and documentation. This is the key aspect which will change everything for Cadena and why I say that there is zero point in Cadena marketing a project before this is completed. Why would you pay to market a project if you don't have the ability to support the developers who come to build? I mean, just look at equal bet. It's so easy for somebody to point a finger saying Cadena is doing this, this, or that wrong, but they have no clue how important the stuff that Cadena is currently working on really is. For those of you who don't know, Pact is an upgradable smart contract language. This means that they are always changing and things are always getting better. Point in case, yesterday Emily Pillmore posted an amazing article on Medium which shows all of the new features that are being added to Pact over the next few months. If the Cadena team would have invested millions of dollars building a Pact digital course last year, it would be completely outdated by now. Now that Pact is getting close to ready, Cadena just hired Randy. Randy has over 20 years of experience and his sole mission is to build the world's most bad ace digital course for Pact. The Pact digital course expectation completion date is between January 1st of 2023 and June 1st of 2023. The Cadena team has said that they will most likely roll out this course in sections, so hopefully over the next couple of months, we might start to see some how to code impact tutorials coming out very soon. You can't expect any legacy business to invest millions of dollars worth of resources to build on Cadena if they don't have the proper documentation that teaches them how to do that safely. I mean, it's pretty amazing to see how many products are already building on Cadena and they legit have no resources. Pact is so easy to figure out that they just taught themselves. But that's not really the point. We need these resources. And once they are completed, you will see thousands of developers rushing to build on Cadena. And don't forget, Cadena is a global business. Not only does Randy have to figure out how to make packed digital courses in English, but he also needs to have them built out in 10 different languages. And that's just the start. Just imagine how much time something like that would take. This leads us to number two, Marmalade. Marmalade is Cadena's NFT standard, and it's going to change the world. An NFT standard is just a pre-configured way to write a smart contract that guarantees a specific result. When you are talking about something like an NFT, you want to make sure that all of the metadata being stored inside that NFT on the blockchain has the same structure, royalties being a perfect example. Now I could go on for 20 minutes about why Marmalade is going to change every aspect of life as we know it, but I have a great video called Cadena NFTs are going to change the world. If you want to check it out, links are down in the description. Long story short, Marmalade is so freaking important, we don't want them to rush anything. That's why Cadena only deployed Marmalade on Chain 8. No matter how great you are at coding, or how great you think your blockchain is, until you stress test something to the max, you really have no idea what's going to happen, especially in a real world environment. I think this is an area where Cadena does an amazing job at getting the entire community involved with beta testing new features. I don't want to say that you want to see something break, but this is exactly what will make sure that it never happens during the middle of a bull run. You see, Cadena is building a blockchain that is going to last a century, not just a bull run. We want attacks to happen. We want the blockchain to face issues. This is what helps them fortify the blockchain. If you're not making mistakes, you're definitely not trying hard enough. I mean, look at Solana, Avalanche, and Ethereum. They rushed everything. And the second the blockchain started to get busy, 
It either broke completely and stopped producing blocks, or gas fees skyrocketed and nobody wanted to use the network. You see, we want Kadena to take their time. We want Kadena to build it right the first time, so next bull run when Kadena does 100x, Shat doesn't break or fall apart. This leads us to number three, which is the Kuro upgrade. The real power of Kadena is going to come from Kuro. Kuro is Kadena's high-speed private layer two blockchain that runs on top of Kadena. This is what will allow layer two dApps to process up to 8,000 transactions per second if they need to. But as of now, no one's using it. It's not a top priority yet because the main focus is getting proper pack documentation first and putting the finishing touches on Marmalade. And this is why the Equal Bet team got so upset. They didn't do proper research before they got started. If they would have, they would have realized that from day one, Kuru wasn't in a state that they needed it to be to build their project. And if they did, they could have chose to build somewhere else from the start. Kuru is something that 95% of projects building on Kadena won't use. So as of now, there are much more important priorities on the checklist. Everything that we have saw the Kadena team do to date has been flawless. I have no doubt that when they are ready, and it makes sense to add more or divert resources to upgrading Kuru, it will be done. And when it's done, it's going to be done to perfection, just like they do everything. If we swing over and we take a look at Kadena's job postings, we can see that Kadena is hiring like crazy. We are in one of the worst bear markets slash crypto winners the world has ever seen. Projects are collapsing left and right. The largest crypto exchanges are laying employees off and every DeFi project that built on top of Ethereum has pretty much laid off half of their staff. Not only is Kadena not laying off people, but the Kadena team has over 11 new job postings and in the last 12 months, the Kadena team has tripled in size. Kadena currently has over $1 million a year worth of salary positions posted on their website. Kadena Core, General Applications, Operation Coordinator, Kadena Ecosystem, Business Analysis Lead, Director of DeFi, Director of NFTs, Head of Partnerships, Incubator General Manager, Kadena Ecosystem, Business Development, VP Business Development, Marketing, Content Marketer, graphics designer and check that out Kadena is about to hire a new content marketer and another graphics designer do you guys get what i'm saying if Kadena is not doing something there is most likely a reason for it if Kadena needs to step their game up and hire more people i guarantee you that they're going to do it when the time is right how many people watching this video have ever been a manager or a supervisor of a business how hard was it managing people that work side by side with you every day i mean it's pretty hard right now imagine managing a global business where your employees are working all across the world. Every position on that list says remote. Could you imagine how hard that would be? The blockchain industry never sleeps, but because we are talking about open source and decentralized applications, things take longer than most people expect. How many people in here hold or held Cardano at one point? I totally get it. These blockchains all promise us the world and the tech is so far above everybody's head that it's easy for blockchains to steal a bunch of hopium. Charles is always shilling the next hard fork or the next upgrade that's supposed to change everything and give Cardano Solana-like speeds. Two years later, three hard forks, and we still got nothing. It's not unrealistic for people to get upset. I know I'd be pissed if I was still holding Cardano. I mean, people will be on social security before Charles ever figures out how to get smart contracts to properly work on the Cardano blockchain. But Cadena is not Cardano. Every single upgrade, Cadena makes leaps forward. Every time they overcome an issue, the blockchain gets that much better. This is why I say the best thing you could do as a Kadena investor is support the team. No matter how bad things get, have faith. They got us this far, and I have no doubt that they are going to take us the rest of the way. So let's recap that really quick, then we'll dive into these charts and make some price predictions. Number one, Pack Digital Courts, ETA, June 1st, 2023. Marmalade Beta completed, March 1st, 2023. Marmalade integrated into every chain, June 1st, 2023. Kuru upgrade, May 1st, 2023. Every team position filled, never ending. Beta NFT marketplaces, October 1st, 2021. DocuShields minted. A wallet that supports all Kadena NFTs, December 1st. I think we should see the Zelcor upgrade completed by then. Updated or much better Block Explorer coming soon in the next couple of months. Whale Alert just started on Twitter. DeFi infrastructure complete by January 1st of 2024. And all projects integrated with Kadena on CoinMarketCap. Number 12, Coinbase listing. And those are just off the top of my head. You see, these are all key pieces of the puzzle. Kadena is a completely new blockchain with its own unique coding language no one has ever used before. 
If somebody wants to build a borrowing and lending protocol on Cadena, they can't just fork a few lines of code like they can on Ethereum, Solana, or Avalanche. This is why it's super important as a Cadena investor to properly manage your expectations on what's possible for Cadena short term. Every time a new project builds on Cadena, that causes more demand for Cadena. The projects that choose to use Cadena as their main currency on their application are the projects that we want to show the most love to. If you are building a marketplace to buy, sell, or trade NFTs, we want to see Cadena being used as the main currency to purchase anything. Look at OpenSea. Do you know how much value OpenSea added to the Ethereum ecosystem? I mean, it's legit insane. OpenSea was legit Ethereum's lifeline. Everything you did on OpenSea required Ethereum. Every NFT that sold was sold in Ethereum. And that's the secret sauce. It's critically important that we as the community support projects that choose to make Cadena the main currency on their platform or marketplace. Whatever NFT marketplace lists NFTs for sale in Cadena will 100% get my vote. Cadex is doing a fantastic job at it. Every time a new asset gets listed on Cadex, the first liquidity pair added is KDA. For example, KDA Kish or KDA MOK. That's exactly what we wanna see. If you ever see a project that tries to raise funds or do their IDO and they accept USDT, USDC, or Ethereum as payment, I say we just say screw it and we pass on it. If you're building on Cadena, it's your right of passage to use the network. As a community member or hodler of Cadena, we all need to come together and play our part to help make Cadena successful. If we succeed, we will be unstoppable next bull run. Ask yourself this question. Do you have enough Cadena in your portfolio? No, me neither. Are you going to sell Cadena when it hits $3 or $5? Nope, me either. Okay then, let's pray some big whale is dumb enough to sell a huge bag and tank price. We will keep buying. It's really that simple. Let the rest of the crypto space keep sleeping on Cadena and next bull run, we will be the whales of Cadena. So let's jump over here and talk about price predictions. Cadena currently has a circulating supply of 198,047,245 coins out in circulation. The price of Cadena is currently $1.61. If we take the supply and we times that by price, that gives us a market cap of 318 million. And I always round just to keep things simple. So worldwide across every exchange, there is roughly $319 million worth of KDA out in circulation. Now by 2025, Cadena will have released 275 million coins out in circulation. So if we take the current market cap, which is 319 million, and we divide that by 275 million, which will be the supply in 2025, that gives us a price of $1.16. So I just assume that when I buy Cadena, this is the price I'm buying it at. If you invested in Cadena today and the price of Cadena is $1.20 and the market cap is 320 million, for you to 2X on that investment and for the price of Cadena to hit $2.40, the market cap would need to hit 640 million. For you to 5X on that investment and for the price of Cadena to hit $6, the market cap would need to be 1.6 billion. 10x on that investment, $12, 3.2 billion. 20x on that investment, $24, 6.4 billion. And for you to 100x on a Cadena investment and for the price of Cadena to hit $1.20, the market cap only needs to be $32 billion. Ethereum peaked at a $575 billion market cap. Solana peaked at an $87 billion market cap. Avalanche, $31 billion. Cardano, $94 billion. Shiba, $41 billion. XRP 2017, $104 billion. Binance, 101 billion. Dogecoin, another meme coin, 31 billion. So do I think Cadena can 100X by next bull run and hit a market cap of 32 billion? You bet your ace I do. Now let's talk about the number one thing that affects price, demand and sell pressure. Demand for Cadena at $1.35 to $1.60 range is massive. Because so many people see this as an amazing buying opportunity, I don't think that it's very likely that we see much selling. Selling pressure comes from massive rallies where a majority of people are in the profits, but the majority of people are buying the dip, so it's hard to imagine more people selling than more people are buying in this range. Now, I'm currently working on building my own stock to flow model for Cadena like Plan B did for Bitcoin, but that's going to take me time as I need to collect data and see how much demand is coming from every single project that builds on top of Cadena. My conservative price predictions for Cadena over the next 10 years are as followed. My target price for Cadena by the end of 2023 is $5.50 to $9.75. 
I think there are a few catalysts that could play out where we could see some rallies with peaks upwards of $19.95. My target price for Cadena during the 2024 slash 2025 Bitcoin bull run is around $275 to $350. Market cap would be at or around $75 billion. My target price predictions for Cadena during the 2028 slash 2029 bull run would be around $2,500 to $3,500. Market cap would be at least $1.25 trillion. I think it's super important to set very realistic expectations on what price potential an asset like Cadena has. The worst thing you can do as a Cadena hodler is be that guy who goes on Twitter and shields some FUD anytime there's a problem with the blockchain. Cadena is working on building a blockchain that your great great grandkids will use, and it's going to change every aspect of life as we know it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Bitcoin is 13 years old, Ethereum is going on 8 years old, and Cadena is 3 going on 4 years old. We are so early. In blockchain years, Cadena hasn't even hit puberty yet. To this day, the Cadena team has never let us down. And that's a pretty impressive track record if you ask me. When the Cadena blockchain is getting attacked, remember that the smartest minds in the world are working on it. Anytime there is an issue or the community doesn't like something, Cadena addresses the issue. Other blockchains are laying off employees, Cadena is hiring. When it comes to funding, the Cadena team has told us that they've never been in a better position than they are today. So make sure you swing over to Twitter and show Cadena some love. Show them how much you appreciate them by following Doug Beardsley at Blockchain Doug, Emily Pillmore, aka the Pac Mommy at Waffle Pirate, best Twitter username ever, CEO Stuart Popejoy at Sir Lenzalot, and President Will Martino at underscore WJ Martino underscore. Hey you, watch this video next. Then come join us live on my second YouTube channel. Good vibes always, crypto fam. I'll catch you guys in the next video.